Uh, were there some interesting things that... Researchers at UCLA studied groups of girls and groups of boys in the third, fourth, and fifth grades. The children are learning about neuroscience and physiology, then applying their knowledge on the computer. The results are reshaping fundamental ideas about differences in computer skills of boys and girls. If we give boys and girls an equal chance in learning the computer, learning to express themselves and create graphics and stories, uh, then uh, there is really, we find none of the differences which have been discussed in the past 20 years. Boys and girls were allowed to choose their own topics to research and program on the computer. Josh researched the effects of arsenic poisoning. It could cause immediate death as well as depending on the dosage, it could cause just like reactions and and this pretty much shows what the reactions are. The girl teams in the study picked different topics like why does a mosquito bite itch and what will happen if eight-year-old Bob keeps eating fatty foods. Yeah, he's going to have a heart attack and then she's going to go to the phone booth and call um, 911 and the ambulance is going to come. What the research shows is that in every case, girls learn the science and they program the computer as well as the boys. Different only in technique and style. My question is, how does neonatal hepatitis affect the baby's liver? I think it's like really cool just to see like you you like know how to make like a program. Like you type in a couple like easy easy words or stuff, and like you can make like stuff happen. Our best programmer in the class at this point is a girl and she's been truly empowered by having access to the computer and being able to um, function on the computer without also without the boys taking over. The most important message of this research is that girls love computers and love working with computers if you give them an opportunity to express themselves. A lesson that could affect changes in the classroom and beyond. I'm Nancy Williams reporting. My research, um, I have found if we give boys and girls an equal chance in